Welcome to our video on the best GPUs for VR. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the top graphics cards currently available on the market for virtual reality gaming and other VR applications. We'll be discussing factors such as performance, price, and features to help you make an informed decision on which GPU is the best fit for your needs. So, whether you're a hardcore VR gamer or a professional using VR for design and visualization, this video has got you covered. Let's get started. Starting our list with Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XT. AMD's previous-gen graphics card had a notorious reputation with VR. Despite the solid specs, the Vega cards were not up to the mark. Now, with their new Navi architecture, AMD is simply crushing the GPU market. The Radeon RX 5700 XT is a premium mid-range graphics card that is excellent for VR gaming. Based on the 7M architecture, the Radeon RX 5700 XT draws less power and thus produces less heat. The whole system provides an excellent cooling mechanism, without compromising on performance. With a boost clock of up to 19.05 MHz and 8GB of GDDR6 memory, the Gigabyte Radeon RX 5700 XGMing OC is an excellent choice for VR-ready PC builds. In terms of interface, the card has three display ports, which is essential for VR headsets, and an HDMI port, which can be hooked up to your gaming monitor. At number 2 it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super is the second most powerful card of NVIDIA's new RTX lineup. NVIDIA's OC edition of the RTX 2070 Super promises phenomenal 4K performance on VR and on-screen. It has stable scope for overclocking and the ray tracing cores provide a layer of future proofing. With a clock speed of 1770 MHz and 8GB GDDR6 RAM, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super is ready to tackle any game thrown at it. Our only reservation against the RTX 2070 Super, and all the RTX cards for that matter, is the fact that the RTX card has dedicated cores for ray tracing. Since there are no games that support ray tracing in VR, you'll never be able to use the RTX 2070 to its full potential. On the contrary, the ray tracing cores future-proof your system. At number 3, it's MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super. The GTX 1660 is NVIDIA's champion for the current generation budget market. MSI's GeForce GTX 1660 Super is an overclocked and slightly beefier version of the standard GTX 1660. 1815 MHz boost clock, paired with 6GB of GDDR6 VRAM, is just enough to tackle even the most demanding VR games. Since there are no cores reserved for ray tracing, you'll be able to push this card to its max output. However, it's worth noting that the peak performance of the RTX 2060 Super is slightly better than the GTX 1660 Super, thanks to an improved architecture. Priced just under $300, the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super is an excellent choice for budget VR builds. You'll also get MSI's infamous Afterburner companion software that allows you to monitor and even tweak your GPU. At number 4, it's MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2060. Just over the $300 price tag, the RTX 2060 is the most affordable offering within the RTX line, the newest line of GPUs by NVIDIA. As mentioned previously, you can't actually push the RTX 2060 to its peak performance. However, we'd recommend you opt for RTX 2060 over the GTX 1660, given that you can afford it. Despite the similar specs, the RTX 2060 performs slightly better than the GTX 1660. Furthermore, it adds a layer of future proofing to your VR build. As ray tracing becomes more common, VR developers will use the technology. NVIDIA put out a long press release explaining how ray tracing can change the whole VR industry. Here, you're looking at a factory overclock speed boost of 1710 with a 6GB GDDR6 VRAM. Two angle blades keep the GPU cool without rising on the decibel scale, while the afterburner allows you to measure things such as temperature. There are four outputs, three display ports, and an ATM mod to support all kinds of output devices. At number 5, it's the Sapphire Radeon RX 580. The Sapphire Radeon RX 580 should be your GPU of choice if you're looking for the cheapest EDU that allows you to play VR games on AMD's end of the spectrum. Technically, it's above the minimum requirements for both the Oculus Rift as well as the HTC Vive. Even the specs are better than the GTX 1060, but since they both cost about the same, 
We recommend the Sapphire Radeon RX 580 as your base choice of GPU for VR gaming. In terms of specs, Sapphire offers a factory overclocked RX 580 running at 1366 MHz. The GPU packs a staggering 8GB of video memory, which is way more than not only the GTX 1060 but also the GTX 1660 and the RTX 2060. In addition to a number of AMD proprietary software, RX 580 comes with liquid VR technology, which ensures a stutter and lag-free gaming experience in virtual reality, basically FreeSync for VR. It's an extremely powerful GPU for VR gaming and gaming in general. The only sacrifice you're making here is the power consumption. Unlike the more expensive Radeon 5000 series from AMD, the RX 500 series uses 4th Gen GCN graphics cores, as opposed to the 7NM RDNA cores. Hence, the power input is a bit higher and measured at 185 watts compared to 150 watts on the Radeon 5000 series. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this video helps you to choose the right GPU for your VR.